archery stuff. Hey guys, welcome to this review on the Cross and Recurve bow bag or backpack if you'd like to put it, it does both. I find that most of the backpacks in this sort of category seem to be identical in a way. Only thing that would vary is the branding market marking and the occasional pocket here or there, but generally this kind of recurve bow bag is all the same. The back straps can be packed away, turn it into a normal carry bag. Out of all the different bags that we have purchased for our family, I found this one to be the least impressive because it comes with absolutely no accessories. There was no accessories in the bag and when you look on the tag itself it says it does come with accessories but I'd suggest that you look on the internet really closely and make sure because most of the suppliers say no accessories included. The uh, label that's connected to the bag does say that accessories are included for some reason but they definitely weren't. I um, must say that I do like the color of this bag it was re really nice bright green it's good stitching really well built as usual did find this bag to be a few centimeters or like two or three inches smaller than the other bags for some reason which meant that if you had a normal riser bag it wouldn't fit in it properly which is uh, an issue we're trying to resolve at the moment my wife's trying to find a riser bag that'll fit in here that's not too long um, for some reason they have made the backpack a couple of inches shorter but other than that it's uh, of a good quality and looks really nice and we are quite happy with it just wish it had to come with more accessories but then the price would have been a little bit higher i guess so you can buy an arrow tube to fit in it separate the bow the actual recurve limb bag is a bit of an issue for us if you've seen the avalon classic it is exactly the same it's just slightly shorter and has less accessories if you can't see a crossing anywhere and you'd like to know what it does look like but you've managed to get your hands on an avalon classic they're identical the crossing is just a bit smaller this is an unpaid and uninfluenced review on these products hope you liked it give us a thumbs up if you do and subscribe